This video is going to show you how to operate our gas fireplaces. And before you can turn it on, immediately adjacent to the fireplace, either in a cabinet or on the wall, is going to be a valve that you're going to need to turn. A valve that you're going to need to turn counterclockwise to the left to open. And then you're going to want to light your pilot light over here, which is this knob. You're actually going to need to turn it about an eighth of a turn counterclockwise into the ignite position, which is going to pop it out a little bit. You'll feel it. Then you're going to need to push it in all the way and hold it down. And then you're going to push the ignite button to the left. It's going to create a spark that's going to light this pilot light. And this pilot light needs to burn for about 10 to 15 seconds to activate what's called a thermocoupling, which is a magnet that allows the full gas to be released into the lines to ignite the full furnace. You'll know that it's ready to turn that on when you release the pilot and it stays lit. Then it's just as simple as turning it to the left, pushing in and turning to the left to light the full gas. That pilot light is a safety measure. The full gas will not light until the thermocoupling is activated from the heat of the pilot light. And then to turn it off, you simply turn it all the way to the off position. And then turn your key back off to shut off. This is a safety, an extra safety precaution to shut off full gas to the line. Now over the course of the summer, air can back up into your gas lines and it might require you to hold down on that pilot button for a minute, maybe even two minutes, to bleed the lines and push all the air out, which will cause it to light. And we hope you enjoy this DSLD educational video for lighting your fireplace.